Hello friends, welcome back to Challenge 9. I'm still in the race to become the next top nail artist for season 9 and I'm having so much fun. So let's start to talk about the new challenge, Challenge 9. So this week's challenge is all about nails that are suitable for Miami and with interpretation from Roy Holston in the 80s. Let's mix up Miami Swim Week with the Roy Holston signatures. If you want to create a really long nail shape, you can apply three nail forms on top of each other and then you can create a really long nail. Because I want to create a really long nail shape, I will use the Plexi Builder Shell in different thin layers. So it's more pliable and easy to work with and you don't need to file a lot afterwards. So I will use the Blizzard file to file my nails in the correct shape. And then when I'm done, I will cleanse my nail with some nail wipe and a cleanser. So to be sure that you can pop all out of the Miami colors, I will use the green puff, the white layer, before I put the original color on top. Because it's very helpful to get more vibrant colors. Just be sure that you keep working in very thin layers to get a smooth end result. And the violet base is the perfect Miami color for me. With the layering technique, I will alternate the top color. So I will apply first a dark color, the Indigo Frog. And afterwards, I will apply the blue eyeshadow. Here you can see it's much darker. Because here you see the original color in the blue eyeshadow. How gorgeous is this? And the hot pink will be the perfect base for this design. With the ocean side and the mind over matcha, I will create my own blue green Miami vibe color. So it's much easier to work with the fine eyeliner brush if you load them first with the top clear. Then you can apply the color and then you can work really really small details like this part. So I choose to work Miami because it's all about the Miami Swim Week collection and I play with it in different kind of colors. Halston was really famous about his smocked waist dresses, so I want to create my own waistband in my design. Just use the shellac in the, in the colors and then you can cut it and you can apply it like a waistband on the nail. This is really fast to create and I will use the Plexibilla Gel Clear to fix my nail waistband on the nail. For my real Miami look I want to create some chains and they are just fitting perfectly together with the waterfall dressers from Roy Halston and I will fix all my chains together with some Plexibilla Gel Clear. And it's really helpful to not to use too much product because it just holds the parts together and I want to create a perfect shape from the waterfall. So just use less product and be sure to cure it well afterwards in the light. It's really handy to use a tweezer in this kind of designs and parts because it will help you to fix and hold the parts together. Don't use all the chains at once because it will slip from the nail away. And of course we need to add some more bling bling to the nails. And this is my Miami Swim collection. So here is my Blue Bay Bikini. I will use the color blue eyeshadow and I just will cut it up in small strips. Normally I will use the base and top on the, on the color. In this part I wouldn't use it. I just use the blue color eyeshadow in two layers. Then it's much easier to apply in a ruffle on the nail. Just be careful because it's very delicate. So I will use some nail glue to fix all my parts together and it will be helpful to use a little bit of nail wipe to remove the excess glue and then I use the tweezers to fix all the parts together. If you use too much glue you will wait a long time for drying. So I take out some old earrings and I will just use them in my design. I cut it in the right shape and length and I will put them as a waistband on the nail. A tweezer is handy, you can put all the parts together. How stunning is this blue bay bikini! The metallic golden confetti is just perfect for my Sir Quain look and feel. So I will use them in the Dura Force 
top coat as a base layer and then I can put on all different sizes of the confetti. For a good seal off from the mini confetti you can use the Duro Force top coat as well because he has a thicker consistency. To create a smoke effect I will use the Duro Force top coat because he has a thicker consistency and then I apply some plastic wrapping paper and I just pull on the end and you get this really smoked effect. So after curing you can remove the plastic foil and then you can just color it in with the Bellini color. So you get this really awesome textured effect. Let's put on some extra diamonds. If you want to add a chain to the nail be sure you use enough Builder Gel Clear. I use the Plexi Builder Gel Clear to fix this big chain to the nail. This set just shout out my yummy vibes. I really want to thank you for watching and I also want to thank you CD and Koopa and Nails Magazine for sponsoring this amazing challenge and give us all the opportunity to grow to learn and to just have fun with all the nail products so see you next week bye